Hello and welcome to a quick video for demonstration of Merc damage. Basically, um, I have made a Merc guide before, but I didn't feel like um, I tested out the different setups in the guide that well. And now I just kind of want to prove with visual, audio, and all the things in the video that the Merc setups that I make for my characters are really the best. And uh, to start off, I will be on my Necromancer. Now he's using an obedience cryptic axe. Now with the cryptic axe and an increased enhanced duel uh, and 32 enhanced damage, this one reads a new breakpoint. But in my stash I also carry a pride. This is also a cryptic. It's not perfect, but it is 20 aura. Um, I think for perfect it has to be 300% bonus to attack rating. But it's uh, it doesn't really matter too much. Anyways, let's quick start off. Now for the video, I will only be going to Frigate Highlands, so that means only this place I will be testing damage on. So you can really get a see why I am um, why I made the guide for my Merc as I did. Um, yeah, let's just start. I'm not gonna use any bow or anything. So yeah, starting now. Let's see just how fast this goes. Oh, funny, my Merc also gained a level there. Now, as always, feel free to skip ahead. Now, that took 11 seconds uh, for the kill. Now, I will quickly remake the game. Like this. Now, let's hope it doesn't fail. <laughs> oh, it's funny. When I'm demonstrating, the load fails. That's just too bad. Oh well, that's what happens when you exit out too fast to make a new game. Let's see again if it won't work now. Now I'm going to be testing the pride. Now again, the pride also reads the next breakpoint with this setup, and obviously fortitude is the best damage. Now some people think that, oh, pride, wow, that gotta be the best, cause the concentration aura and whatnot, but uh, let's see if it can really do 11 seconds. And uh, going now. So let's see, I'm not gonna move. If I'm dying, I'm, I might move a little. Okay. It's reached over 11 seconds now at least. As you can see, the damage is way slower. That took 19 seconds. That kind of tells everything. The pride rune word is very bad for the merc damage. It's only there to buff yourself. Um, just for fun, let's see what it drops while I'm doing the video as well. Just a little gameplay. Okay, let's move on. Now I will be going on my infinity. Now for the purpose of uh, this video and also just kind of to make my Java Sun even better, I got a near perfect infinity colossal, uh, uh, not a colossal blue cryptic axe. Now this one is nearly perfect, so it's a great way to demonstrate the damage. Uh, I'm using kind of low enhanced damage, but again it reaches a new breakpoint, and I'm also using a fortitude. So let's see if fortitude in a cryptic axe, which attacks obviously faster than Colossus Voluk, is going to be faster. Uh, and I'm starting now. Ten seconds now, and bam! That took twelve seconds. So that's kind of funny. You saw that the Eldric, the the lead, also kind of died at the same speed uh, as the as the uh, other weapon, not the Pride. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot the name. <laughs> but um, basically, it's about the same. So now I kind of tested out all the weird weapons, the kind of the random ones. You don't really expect to do a lot of damage. 
So now I will go and show the ultimate setup. This is, in theory, at least I hope, it's gonna be the best. So let's see if it also will be that in, in real time. So now I'm just gonna show quickly. I'm using this one as a treasury and an ETH bug, but it doesn't really matter. It's just to get the defense. Actually, the defense can help, um, just cause um, uh, it doesn't get hit that much and it doesn't get to need faster hit recovery. So that's pretty good, actually, for kill speed. But uh, this also makes so the treasury doesn't proc too much, at least not uh, fast. And then I'm using a Gulliams. Now this one is socketed with a perfect duel, so that's pretty great. Um, and in the Reaver Toll, I don't think this was a perfect duel. Um, it might have been, I can't quite remember. But it's definitely high. It only misses uh, 7 increased uh, enhanced damage to be perfect. And then it even has perfect lifesteal, so this is a very high Merc setup. But uh, enough talking, let's test it out. And let's just try to make it gather around. Oh, it's a little stupid, my Merc. And let's see if it won't follow now. Too bad I don't have a Fortage uh, Tilt. Now nah, there, good. Now I'm just gonna stand still. I'm not gonna move. Now the mobs are a little spreaded, but 6, 7, and 10. Now you see that even with all the mobs spread out like really far away because I didn't have teleport on this character uh, it killed the whole pack in 10 seconds and if I was uh, using uh, Enigma on this dude so I can teleport I could gather myself and the Merc in, the, in a, like a bunch and it would have taken about 8 seconds so yeah that's basically it and that is why me and many others to this day still believe that the reverse tall pressure with two enhanced uh, or just increased attack speed duels if you can afford good duels and a treasury is the best damage setup. You're not gonna find any faster than this. Um, it might be faster uh, with an obedience or maybe an infinity on certain builds uh, cause it boost but also another thing is that those weapons have uh, crushing blow and for let's say an 8 player game um, it might actually be faster to kill uh, mobs with crushing blow for the merc but that's kind of experimental and it's hard to tell at times cause the crushing blow maybe not always happen all the time cause it's a chance based uh, a hit obviously just like crit but um, yeah, I just wanted to showcase uh, my Merc damage again, just to really sh get it out of the way now that this setup here, these three items, you won't get better. It's just amazing damage, at least on one player. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching and uh, hope you found the video useful and uh, goodbye.